I wish I could say that this was my first attempt at recording. I realize that I've never not once introduced myself in a video and that is because I operate on the assumption that it's just my family and friends watching me but maybe I should just do a quick very quick intro I'm Yem or Yemaya I am an artist from Southern California and I'm currently a senior in Zoom University I graduate in May so the existential crisis doesn't start until then but for now what we're here for at least what I'm here for is a tattoo tour. I've been itching for a new tattoo, so I've been watching a lot of tattoo tours on YouTube just to try to feel something. And I thought I'd hop on the bandwagon and record my own. I have 18 tattoos, 15 of them I got in the span of one year. So I got three on my 18th birthday on a date. And then from then until the end of my freshman year of college, I got like up to a total of 15. I've only gotten three since being a freshman, now I'm a senior, so it definitely slowed down a bit, but that's also because when I was a freshman, I was working two jobs. I was working at a restaurant and at Urban Outfitters, and I was making fucking bank. So me and my friends, we would always be in this um, tattoo piercing shop down the street from Howard, which is where I went freshman year. And I was I got my nipples pierced there, my septum pierced there, I got a bunch of tattoos there. My friend got her nipples pierced there, my other friend got her tongue pierced there, another friend got her septum pierced there. Like we were always there for a tattoo or a piercing. So we always got great prices. I always just had money because I was a freshman with no bills to pay. It just worked out. So I got 15 in a year. None of them, like none of my tattoos really relate to one another or fit together in a puzzle piece type way. I do say that I want a tattoo sleeve, but I don't want to like plan out an intricate sleeve that like is cohesive. I just want to fill my arms with tattoos until they're full, but I want to build it up over time. I have some like art from various years of my own on me too, which is a good example of that. Going into this, I really don't remember what the pain levels were for a lot of the tattoos. I do remember for some, so I might bring it up every now and then, but not for all because it really just feels like a stinging to me and it's very bearable. I just sit there and clench my fists and tell myself that it'll be over eventually and it always is. So first I want to talk about my most complimented and like most, like my favorite I think tattoo, which is my moon tarot card on my upper arm. This is the one where I can tell you some things about pain. So like it didn't hurt anywhere out here on the outer part, but this inner part, like and especially these like little dots right here, hurt like a bitch. I was this close to punching that tattoo artist in the head. Like I, it was not fun. Every little dot he did, I was just like about to scream. I got the three tattoos on my 18th birthday and then this was like my first like, tattoo tattoo that like took time and was like more intricate and it was it was an experience it took about two hours this really is my favorite tattoo it's my biggest tattoo anytime anyone on the street is like hey i like your tattoo when i'm wearing short sleeves is probably talking about this one one of the tattoos i got on my 18th birthday was this outline of africa on my back my sister has it on her chest, but she got that much before I got mine because she's older than me. But it was something that I I basically wanted to copy off her, so I turned it into a matching tattoo. Also, on my 18th birthday, I got this moon on my wrist. Um, my best friend from high school, actually just now as <laughs> seniors, finally got hers, but she has a son. Hers has other, like personal meanings to it other than just us having a sun and a moon and mine has other personal meanings to it but it's just fun to know that we both have our sun and moon tattoo. I myself am just drawn to the moon. I'm a water sign. I'm a cancer sun and a cancer moon and my name is Yemaya which means it's the Yoruba goddess of the ocean and I've always been tied to water so this is just one tattoo that made sense and it was one of my it was like the first one he did of the three that I got on that day. And the third one 
is I got um, some flower petals tattooed around like a little mole I had on my stomach, kind of like this one. It was an idea I actually got off of Instagram when I was like 16 or something, but it stuck with me and I was like, that's a good idea because I have a lot of moles like this just around my body. So when I was 18, I was like, I want to turn this into a flower and the guy just like freehand drew a stencil for some flower petals and I think it looks really good. This one, I think, is hilarious because when I was in high school, I was that person who never wore a bra and everyone always, like, pointed out, like, I can see your nipples through that shirt and I'd be like, what do you want me to do about that? And so I got this tattooed on my middle finger. I was like, when I turn 18, I'm going to get the female sign tattooed on my middle finger and I'm going to get my nipples pierced and, like, fuck you guys. But it's funny because... I'm definitely non-binary now, um, and I just have this sign for woman tattooed on my finger. It's just really interesting how you change from 18 to 21. Keep that in mind when getting tattooed. That's my only hand tattoo, and it has faded over time. Like, it's true, hand tattoos fade. I have this Keith Haring tattoo right here. Let's see if I can get it to focus. He is... When always, like, was, is, always has been one of my favorite artists. That even started in high school, and by the time I was 18, I got this tattooed. The thing I really appreciate about a lot of my tattoos is I had them planned, or something that I wanted to get for a really long time before I was even close to the age of being tattooed. So by the time I was 18, I could finally get them done, and I still wanted them, so I knew I wasn't necessarily going to regret them. Fun fact, I actually got this tattoo for, like, $35. And then this one is my second personal artwork that I've gotten tattooed. The reason I got this one tattooed is because my sister just randomly called me one day and or like FaceTimed me and showed me her new tattoo, which is this, which is one of my drawings that I had done and was like selling buttons and prints of and stuff. And she really liked it and she got it tatted. And as soon as I saw it on her, I was like, bet. And three days later, I got it tatted. I love it, especially on this elbow placement. I think it just looks really nice. So the next one is this number 13. Only story there is it's my lucky number. That's all, I wanted my lucky number tattooed. I was born on the 13th. Me and my sister are three years, three months and 13 days apart. Um, it's just, it was my jersey number. It's just always my lucky number. Then underneath it is this like face dude. And this was something that I painted when I was either a junior or a senior in high school in like a studio art class. It was part of a larger series of faces that I did, but I really enjoyed this one. This face is kind of symbolic of like the first series with like an artist statement I really did that I really enjoyed making and that really meant something to me. And underneath it we have temporary. Both temporary and the face were done by, um, and some other ones were done by a super shitty tattoo artist, like so shitty. Did not realize he was 18. I got recommended to him by one of my coworkers from Urban Outfitters, and I guess I didn't look close enough at his tattoos to see how janky they were. But boy, boy, this guy's oh, his lines were so janky, and I actually paid him up front like a good chunk of money to do like eight tattoos. After he did four, I was like, "You're done." you're done sir like you but he wouldn't give me money back because like no refunds or whatever but I was like you're not tattooing another thing on me because they just got more and more intricate as it was going on and I was like you're really fucking up here the face I had to get retouched by the tattoo artist that did the most of them in DC but the temporary is still fading it's in my handwriting it's not like a font people always ask me like, what font is that I just wrote temporary on a piece of paper and he turned it into a stencil it's just a reminder for me this is gonna sound so cliche, but like that everything is temporary. And whenever I tell people that, or like they see my tattoo, they're like, ha ha ha, but like, it's in a permanent tattoo, ha ha ha, like so funny. And I'm like, no, like, this is a flesh prison. It is temporary. And I have to remind myself that one, life is temporary, and two, like being in this body is temporary. So it's like one of the last things I should really worry about past, like just my health. It's just a nice reminder that when I get upset about things, when I might have negative thoughts, just like anything that can be negative, it's all temporary and it's just nice to have like that reminder in me. One of my coworkers at the restaurant I worked at had relax tattooed on their neck. My other friend from freshman year had I'm right here like tattooed on their arm and it's just the idea of like affirmative text on you that's something you can look at is really comforting to me and so it was my word is temporary and on this arm 
I have I have love bug and then an A next to it in a heart. So love bug, it's in my mom's handwriting and it's her nickname for me. And then my sister's name is Arela and my mom's name also starts with an A. So it just worked out that I kind of put them together. These were some of my first tattoos also when I got to DC. I am a hoarder in real life of things because I put so much sentimental value into things and so it only makes sense that I put sentimental tattoos on myself because that's the bitch that I am. And I love my mom and my sister so, you know, it works out. Here, going kind of like with the temporary tattoo, it says flesh housing feeling. It was the ending line of, it was either a poem or a short story I wrote, I don't really remember. This is, I guess, another affirmative text reminder tattoo that, like, this is just flesh housing feeling. Um, the flesh isn't what matters. This is this is one of the tattoos that I can say I feel slight regrets about also, and it's the tattoo artist's fault, the one I was talking about who's just janky. Look at the line work on this wave. Like, it is so... it's just wrong and all fucked up and it's okay, it's whatever, like I'll live with it. The reason I got this wave tattooed is because I thought I was gonna be moving from California to DC for my whole four years of college, even though I ended up transferring back to California. So it was only one year on the East Coast, but East Coast me was like, I'm from California, like I want a reminder of like home, blah, 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 blah. I love the ocean. So I got a oh, fucking wave tattooed on my wrist. That's all for my upper body tattoos. So we're gonna get into my leg tattoos. On my ankle, I have the constellation for cancer, but it's supposed to be tilted, and instead it's more very straight, so it looks like an upside down Y with dots. Also done by the janky tattoo artist, and so it's kind of fading. I don't think I'm gonna get it touched up, and I kind of like its look, and I have ideas for what I can do on my ankle in in the future and on my knee i have just a little tiny star that's when i told the janky tattoo artist to stop because it was supposed to be a shooting star but i could already tell by how he was struggling with something as small as a star that like the little lines i wanted coming off of it were going to be a disaster and not straight so i just have a star with like janky lines on my knee don't go to shitty tattoo artists like the rest like the ones for this one my first ones and like the other piercing place i went to in dc was great but there's just one guy was not good. On my thigh, I have the symbol for my name. So like Yamaya, it's like the Yoruba Arisha, which I wanna turn into like a really big piece one day. I'm gonna have my sister plan it out for me. She doesn't know it yet, but she's going to. The, the line works out the best, but that's also another reason why I wanna turn it into something else. My most recent tattoo is actually one that I was determined to get since I was 15. I wrote these song lyrics in the back of my bedroom door in chalk. I've drawn them on a mug that I painted at like a, one of those ceramic cafe places. These song lyrics I've put everywhere since I was 15 and I knew I wanted them tatted and finally at 21 I got them tatted. So above my one of my knees it says I want to contribute and then the other knee says to the chaos. It's a song lyric from a front bottom song called Twin Size Mattress, <laughs> Please Don't Come For Me. And the whole line is, I want to contribute to the chaos. I don't want to watch and then complain because I'm through finding ways, or I'm through finding blame. That is the decision that I have made. It's just reminding me to take action, just like saying, I don't want to just sit back and let my life pass over me, which I feel like it's doing a lot. So it's like a more affirmative text. It's nice to see like, I want, to contribute to my own life and make it chaotic. And I think that was all 18. I hope it was all 18. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, so the flesh housing feeling, um, this was my first and only stick and poke from, it was by my friend April. I will never, ever, 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 ever do a stick and poke again. Watching the needle going in and out of my skin and feeling each individual thing was truly awful. I felt so bad because I made April stop so many times because I would look over at what they were doing and then just get instantly nauseous and like overheat and they would have to stop. And it was just took way longer than it had to. I know tattoo guns are needles, but I... No. No. That's all my tattoos. I hope you like this video. I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.